The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra was just released, and of the three major phones, the iPhone 15 Pro, the Google Pixel 8 Pro, it's the only one that can shoot 4K 120 frames per second, which is awesome because I don't like, especially in 2024, uh, this idea that you can either shoot high resolution 4K, which all of our TVs and screens are right now, or slow motion in lower resolution HD. Now, something also to note is that the Ultra 24 can shoot in 8K 30 frames per second. And I had to actually research this. It's been able to shoot 8K 24 since the S20 Ultra, which is uh, quite a few iterations back now. But here we are in 2024 with the iPhone 15 Pro that cannot shoot 8K and nor can Pixel shoot 8K. So it's definitely a point uh, of interest if you have a higher than 4K resolution screen, such as an Apple 5K or 6K display, or even an 8K TV. And 8K TVs have come down quite a bit. So if we look at the prices right now on B&H, you can get a 65 inch 8K for $2,600, uh, which is just a couple years back, uh, maybe five years back, uh, you absolutely could not get an 8K screen for $2,600. Uh, so that's quite amazing. Though if you want a an 8K OLED, you're still looking at a 77 inch that is, I believe, $10,000. So uh, yeah, a little bit higher than most people's budget. But back to the S24 Ultra, we have five cameras in it. A, let's take a, take a look at this. A 200 megapixel, that's still so, so amazing to me, a 200 megapixel, 1.7, 24 millimeter. And that's the one that you can crop in a ton for digital zoom. I think digital zoom never looks that good, but hell, if you're working with 200 megapixels. And then a 50 megapixel f3.4, 111 millimeter, that's the periscope one. A 10 megapixel f2.4 at 67 millimeters. And then a 12 megapixel 13 millimeter ultra wide selfie camera. So quite a few to choose from. Uh, all of this comes uh, with to me, something very important, Wi-Fi 7. And so does the Pixel actually, but the iPhone does not. And the thing about why uh, Wi-Fi 7 is so important is with Wi-Fi 6E, we got the ability to use the six gigahertz spectrum, uh, which provides a wider bandwidth. And not many people are on that uh, six gigahertz uh, band, so it's not gonna have a lot of congestion. But you could either use 2.4, 5, or 6, but not simultaneously. So now for Wi-Fi 7, we can simultaneously uh, use them all together to give you a theoretical bandwidth of uh, 40 plus gigabit per second. Though, of course, those are just the theoretical numbers. We'll probably see something like a quarter of that speed, which would still be amazing. Uh, but certainly coming in 2024, the iPhone doesn't iPhone 15 Pro doesn't have Wi-Fi 7 by the the iPhone 16 Pro uh, it would be rather odd and rather lacking if you ask me